So guys, in today's session, I am going to talk about how you can color a specific column in an ALV output. So without wasting time, let's get started. I am going to declare my internal table as it underscore makt type standard table of makt. Okay, I am going to take fields from makt table now and uh, I'll write my start of selection event. I'll say select star. I'll select all the fields from uh, the uh, makt table. You have only five fields, I believe. And then I'll say from makt into table it underscore makt up to 100 rows. Okay. I'm going to uh, fetch 100 entries from makt table and I'm going to store it inside the internal table it underscore makt. Now I'll use the pattern for, uh, button. I'll go to app object patterns and I'll say clslb table. Okay, I'm going to make use of clslb table uh, for generating the ALB output. I'll call the factory method of the same. Okay, in here I'm going to remove the unwanted code and in the importing section, I am going to uh, provide a reference of the same clslb table and also I'm going to uh, fill in the it underscore makt. So this reference, okay, this o underscore alb, we have to define it in the uh, definition. I'll say o underscore alb type the ref to clslb and table. Okay. And once you call the factory method, once you call the factory method of the clslb table, o underscore alb will have, will contain an instance of clslb table. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll call o underscore alb and I'll say display. With few lines of code, very few lines of code, I'll check the syntax, activate the program and I'll execute it. You can see the alb output already coming up. Okay, now my requirement is that I want to change the uh, color of this column, material description. Okay, I know it is a makt field and I want to change the color of this field to a different color. Okay, I'll go back. What I'll do is I have to do this before I call the display method. Okay, I'll define. Uh, before that, I'll say I'll tell you one thing that this o underscore alv. If you go inside this uh, class, you will find that there is a get columns uh, method. There is a get columns method. Okay, which will return you all the columns of this alv. Okay, all the columns of this ALB output you're going to get using the by calling the method get columns. What is the parameter? What is the return? What does it return? It returns you a value of CLSLB columns table. CLSLB columns table. So I'm going to define this in the definition. I'll say data LO underscore columns type ref2 and CLSLB columns table. Okay, now I'm going to uh, return that to this variable itself. I'll say o underscore alb get columns. I'm going to call the get columns method. I don't need to pass any parameters because by default get columns will return you all the columns and it will get stored in lo underscore columns. Okay, now that you have all the columns, you want to fetch one particular column which is the makdx field from the makt table okay so for that what i need to do is i need to uh, in the, for this variable inside this variable you'll have all the columns so what i want to do is i want to get one particular column from this instance which is maktx okay now this will return you an instance of clslv column okay this will return you an instance of CLSLV column. If you want to check this, you can see it will return you CLSLV column instance. Okay. But CLSLV column doesn't have any, 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 any method wherein you can set the color of the cell or color of the column. Okay. So for that, I will make use of a different class. Please make a note of this class here, which is LO underscore column. I am going to generate the instance type ref2. CLSLB column table. Okay. Now I'm going to equate this here as LO underscore column. 
okay but here you have to observe one thing you're going to cast a super class object this will return your CLSLB column okay as you have seen and you are going to cast this into a subclass object okay so you are going from a higher a bigger object if you are trying to store it inside a smaller object okay this is a smaller object here okay if you can go inside CLSLB column table you can see that in the properties if you go to the uh, CLSLB column table you can see super classes CLSLB column list Again, once you double click on this, you will see that this is a super class. Okay, so you are trying to uh, basically put a super class object inside a subclass object. So for that, you need to uh, uh, do the casting like this. Okay, you are going from a super class to a subclass. You are trying to put a bigger object into a smaller object. I'll be talking about casting in later classes. Okay. In here you have to observe that you're going to put a bigger object inside a smaller object you need to do this kind of casting which is question mark equal to you have to place okay so now that we have got the column we have got the particular column in this lo underscore column okay now you want to if you go to this uh, lo underscore column you have a method in this column that's why I was taking this particular uh, uh, class as a reference CLSLV column table it has a method called uh, set color okay if you see there is a method called set color okay and if you go to the parameter you will observe that it will uh, have an importing parameter as LVCS column and what is the type it has three components called int and in okay this can color the column of the uh, LV output so I'll uh, create a work area for the same I'll say wa underscore color type lbc underscore s underscore colo okay which is the type and here I will uh, give I'll assign one component of this uh, to some value I'll say 6 okay and now I'll call the set color method of the get uh, lo underscore color I'll say set underscore color and say wa underscore color okay if I check the syntax, syntactically correct, if I activate the program, execute this, you can see the material description is uh, getting changed, the color is getting changed to uh, red, uh, in red in color, okay, not exactly red, some pinkish red in color, and if, uh, uh, if you want to increase the intensity of this uh, uh, color, you can also have, there are three components for that LVCS color, and I'll uh, take the second one, I'll say this as one okay activate uh, check the syntax int is not present I'm not sure what is the uh, component let me go inside the LVCS column int is there okay let me see what is okay the spelling was wrong for color okay check the syntax activate the program and execute this you can see now a, a, a darker color okay it, it becomes red in color if you increase the intensity so you can play with the colors like this you can uh, give different colors for this uh, uh, different columns of this uh, ALV output okay so that's it guys that's about coloring a specific column of an ALV output I, I made use of CLSLV table if you're making use of different uh, classes or different function modules uh, the procedure might be different so if you have any comments, uh, please let me know in the comment section and please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.